certified beer guy holds a pie at eight and I hear it. Old guy can't even beat that, will you? That's for us guys, right? Hey, Rob Charney, Old Guy Tech TV, and we had the opportunity this year to go to the Consumer Electronics Show, and we saw all the latest and greatest of all the products, and one of the things we stumbled across is Celestron. Now, Celestron makes telescopes like you've never seen. Wait till you see this interview with Dan and the Celestron Telescope that we've got to show you. It is amazing. So if you're into astronomy at all, and you got a few bucks and you want to part with them, this would be a great way of doing it. So let's see this interview with Dan, and it's with Celestron at the Consumer Electronics Show 2013. So I stumbled into an area that uh, I really love. I've been an enthusiast of having telescopes and looking at stars and, and doing that kind of stuff for most of my life. I had a small Celestron, and you got a unit here that just blew my mind, and I said, well, i got to have one of those. And uh, so I thought maybe we'd talk about telescopes a little bit. And uh, Dan, I'm Rob with Old Guy nice Tech TV. You. So nice talk about it a little bit. Tell us about telescopes and, you know, why it's become so popular. I think... Mean, uh the go-to technology is what's made it real accessible to the broader audience, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to cater to a broader demographic, you know, larger audience, the, the you know the entry-level type uh, observer that just wants the simplicity, easy use. Right. And the computerized go-to technology is the way to go, and I think that we've really succeeded with that. We got a couple of new products out this year, just now, that we're really excited about that we're happy to share with you. That's great. Uh, you know, I had an old standard. I'd have to get out there with my star, star charts and all that and try oh, yeah. to find my way around. No, so you now see. you just push a button? It's pretty much pretty yeah. much what it is now, yeah. I've and, never seen that. So so for our group, for us old guys are doing stuff, you just made life a lot easier, didn't that's you? That's what we're trying to do, yeah, uh, make yeah. it easier. <laughs> so where would, where would a uh, person that's just starting, what, what telescope do you think they would should get into? I mean, we have entry-level telescopes that don't have any computerized go-to mm -hmm. technology, and that's fine if you want to learn things manually and find stars and do things on your own. That's no problem. We have... We have telescopes to cater to that. Yeah. But um, with the go-to technology, the push of the buttons, finding things easier, you know, the people that don't want to spend a lot of time with it, th that's the way to go. That's and, a, that would be me. Yeah. And once yeah. the telescopes are self-aligned, yeah. um, then you can put the sky's the limit. You, mean, you can pretty much see everything you want. You can see the craters on the moon. You see the rings around Saturn. You can see the belts on Jupiter and the little, you know, moons orbiting yeah. around Jupiter. Yeah. And, the bright star cluster, so that's really exciting. That's and, really neat. Yeah, and you don't necessarily have to be at a dark sky to see those things. You can see them right from the city, no problem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, light pollution isn't as much of a problem as it used to be? It's a big problem, but there's still a uh, number of objects you can you can observe from a city. Well, sure. So, yeah, but uh, ultimately, if you go to a dark sky, you're going to see a lot of stars, oh, a lot absolutely. of you know, nebulas and different targets. See, we're lucky. We live rural, and yeah. I, I can actually see the Milky Way and, and everything. It's oh, nice. amazing. So that's yeah. what got me excited about it, and I think yeah. some of our viewers... For those of you that you know thought, hey, maybe this is a cool thing to do. It's a wonderful hobby. It's really neat. It uh, there's a lot of clubs and things to do that. And I, you know, and I think Celestron's the number one product to get. I was we are we're currently the biggest telescope company in the world right now. Yeah, and we're real excited. That's great. Let's take a second and and let's talk about this big telescope over here. Sure. I mean, we got this thing. This is our just... flagship system. This is called the CGE Pro system. Okay. This is a 14-inch telescope, and this thing is primarily designed, you know, for uh, imaging in mind. Okay. You want to take photographs of the night sky. We have all the accessories you need in order to do that. Okay. And um, we have obviously we have different scale down sizes of the same thing. But if right. you want the most ideal setup, you know maybe observatory quality or something where schools or institutions. Close to that. Yep. Mm -hmm. These are fine. I mean you can still. This is a one person setup. Okay. I mean granted it's easier with two. Yeah. But you could do it. You know alone if you wanted to. Wow. So that sure blew yeah. my mind. And, yeah. and and let's can the audience guess what this thing costs? I was way off. I was. Uh, <laughs> see, so Daniel clued me in. I got a number of people here before we started recording that I, I sold two of these already, so they owe me commission. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you can sell them for that price, no problem. Right, there you go. There you go. So the price point on this unit is uh, around ten thousand. Can you mute? Can you believe that? Yeah. So here's a unit. <laughs> I mean, like this. The bells and whistles on the top, you know, it adds a few thousand. Sure. But you're looking at about ten thousand for the primary unit here, everything you see. Fully computerized, fully Perfect. automated. Perfect. It's Perfect. So, um, Dave, uh, now it looks like you got. Do you have Ethernet ports, or how does this connect to a computer? <laughs> well, you can. We we do have ports on on various parts of the telescope to connect up with computers. Um, if you want to do if you're going to do imaging, you, you ultimately you're going to want to hook up two computers. Right. You can also run it Wi-Fi if you want to run from an iPad or there iPhone. If you just want to do visual observing, you can do that wirelessly. We have a hundred dollar uh, link called SkyQ Link, where you can just hold your uh, iPhone and. and Sky's the limit. That's incredible. Yeah, That's it's incredible. a fun way to do it. Well, Daniel, thank you for spending time pleasure. with me. I appreciate it. We had a great time here at Celestron, and maybe we'll look at some more stuff. Thank you.
They will support you, they will do referrals between clients. Um, you can't ask for a more complete marketing package. We love, love the, the windfall! windfall. And you can too. Think advertising with the windfall couldn't get any better? Well, it just did. For only $125 for a 30 second commercial filmed by Old Guy Tech TV, you can be seen and heard.